In today's episode, you are going to learn how to greet someone in three ways. Formal with the lovely Kaya George. Hello. Casual with Nita, the Londoner. Hello. And slang with Joe, the gadget man. Oh, hi guys. Let's go. We are all busy with our jobs. Emails, phone calls, meetings. But even in business, we have to mind our manners. Learn how to express yourself in a formal way. Hello, I'm Kaya George. Did you notice when I introduced myself, I said hello? This is very normal. But what about when we write to someone? Do we write hello? Let's check it out. For example, I've got an email here. Dear Miss George, your meeting with Mr. Spectre is confirmed. Best regards, Miss White. And it says, Dear Miss George, not hello. When we receive a letter or an email, the envelope or the notification tells us hello, so we don't need to write it. Oh, oh no, it's my boss. Good evening, Kaya speaking. Okay, yep, I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Did you notice? I didn't say hello to my boss. I greeted him by saying, good evening. In the morning, you could say good morning. And in the afternoon, you could say good afternoon. So saying good morning, good afternoon, or good evening is a little more formal than just saying hello. Another popular expression is, how do you do? I'm sure you know this, it's quite famous. But it's not always appropriate. How do you do is very, very formal. For example, if I were going to meet the Queen, I might say, how do you do? So, as well as hello, you now know, when you're writing to somebody, you can say, dear Mr. or dear Mrs. You can't say this on the phone, though. Instead, you would say, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. And in a very formal situation, perhaps when you meet Richard Branson or Prince Charles, you could say, how do you do? Dear Mr. or dear Ms. A formal way to greet someone in writing. Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. More formal ways of saying hello. How do you do? An extremely formal way of saying hello. Ah, here's a good opportunity for you. My colleague from America is calling me on Skype. How should I answer? How should Kaya answer to her colleague calling her on Skype? Choose the correct answer. The correct answer is good evening. That's right, good evening. Good evening, Sarah. How are you? Hello, Kaya. I'm fine. Just a second. So now you know how to say hello in formal situations or when you're writing to somebody. OK, sorry about that. So you were saying... Now you know how to say hello in a formal way, watch the next part of our programme to find out how to greet someone in a casual way. My 
name is Nita. Did you know that I use the word hello in my introduction? Hello is quite formal. There's some other words we can use too, aside from hello. One of them is hi. Now, hi is a word that we use when we know people. For instance, I can see my colleague there, Sarah. So I would say, hi, Sarah. There we go. That's the difference between hello and hi. teach you something different. So the new word is how is it going? Now the word how is it going is used when you know somebody really well or somebody quite well. For instance, my sister who I'm very close to, I would say how is it going? Or if I met the bus driver who I see every week, I would say hi Mr Smith, how's it going? but we only use that with people that we know really well. You probably wouldn't use it if you don't know them very well. Hello, a word used to greet anybody. Hi, a casual way to greet someone you know. How is it going? A casual way to greet someone you know really well. Now the task for you is to find out which word would I use if I was to ask somebody on the street a question. Nita needs advice from a stranger. How can Nita greet him? Choose the correct answer. The correct answer is hello. And the answer is hello, because I do not know them. So now you've learned three new words. Hello, hi, and how's it going? So when you're in London, you'll know exactly how to use them and use them correctly. See you next time. You have met your friend at the shop. How can you greet him? Choose the correct answer. The correct answer is, how is it going? Now you can greet people in both formal and casual ways. Watch the next part of the program with Gadget Man Joe to see how to say hello in short messages. Hello, I'm Joe. Now, did you hear what word I started the sentence with? Hello. That's right, that's a word you know. Hang on, I've got a text. It's from my friend who lives in Manchester. It says how and then the letter R and the letter U. But what does that mean? It's an easier way of asking me, how are you? So, I need to reply. I'm good. Chat later. 
and send. That's an easy way and an informal way to talk to your friends. When writing messages, we often shorten words. It's quite common to type the letter U for the word U, as well as the letter R for the word R. Oh, but wait a minute. I've got another text from my friend who lives in California in America. This is even weirder. Hang on. It says, sup, S-U-P. Well, that's an abbreviation of what's up, which is a simple way of saying, how are you? So I'll reply. Good, thanks. Talk later. Send. How are you? An abbreviation for how are you? Sup. A short way of writing what's up. Okay, now I want to send a text to my friend in Birmingham. But what shall I say? I need your advice. So let's think. How can Joe greet his friend? Choose the correct answer. The correct answer is sub and how is Birmingham? Now you guys know how to talk to your friends when communicating on a gadget. See you next time. I have some more text to send. How could you greet your professor meeting him on the street? Choose the correct answer. Yes, the correct answer is hello. How could you greet your colleagues in the morning? Right. Good morning, everyone, is the correct answer. How could you start the text message writing to your friend? Choose the correct answer. The correct answer is, how are you man, what about going to the pub? <laughs>